Welcome to Vet Ranch. The girl in this video, Val, she's the sweetest dog ever. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Sorry, too, too far. Shouldn't joke like that, right? Should not joke, sorry about that. She made it and the video is actually really good. You're gonna love it. As you guys know, Christmas is right around the corner and we thought for the first year ever, we should release Vet Ranch Christmas sweatshirts. Nothing but Christmas cheer with a cat butt and a dog. But I thought you guys would like that. If you're interested, link in the description below and a portion of all the proceeds of our Vet Ranch merchandise goes back to the pets to help them. The ones we work on in the videos, it's pretty good. And God, you're gonna look great in this. Back to the show, you're gonna love it. Welcome to Vet Ranch. This is our newest patient, and uh, she's a, she looks like a Belgian Malinois, and so we have named her Valkyrie, so or Val the Mal. And so this is Val, and she is probably about one to two years old, judging on the way her teeth look. And she basically it looks like she's been attacked by another dog. Um, you know, might be broken. Uh, but she has all these little wounds. We'll come in close over here, and all this will be unblurred on the uncensored version. There's a link in the description. But she's got a little cut there. She has a big cut in here, and she's got a bunch of little punctures everywhere. You can see this leg is swollen right here. If you look at it from this angle, a little fat around that joint there. Um, she is pretty banged up, so we are going to anesthetize her right now and start just clipping the hair off of all these wounds. So we can try to, I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of wounds that we haven't even found yet. Um, she seems uh, very nervous, and uh, but otherwise, nothing too major, I don't think. I think it's gonna be just a lot of wound care on her, but we'll shave her down and really inspect her closely. I literally just saw her for the first time a few minutes ago, so I really haven't given her a good exam yet. We're gonna get her anesthetized and check her all out, try to figure out exactly what's going on with old Val. It sounds like that dog screaming. It's not our dog, I promise. More blood coming out. We have her under anesthesia now, shaving these wounds. This is a really gross one. We just clipped the hair around it. Um, we need to scrub it out. Here's another little small one here. Another one right here. Looks like. I would say this is bites. It looks like there's some scrapes from teeth right there. But she's got a lot of them, especially these little tiny ones. She has a few really big ones. There's one on the inside of her leg. Also, there's some pretty good bruising on the inside of this leg. I'm gonna kind of manipulate this and see if that leg feels broken or not. I haven't messed with it yet. We just bathed her because she was covered in mud and blood and like we couldn't, couldn't get through her hair. So gave her a good bath. Now we have her under and just trying to figure out what we got. All right, so right now I'm just flushing. So this is just saline and just trying to get this junk out. So we come over here and look at this wound. It's pretty, uh, pretty dirty. All this is dead tissue. Um, and we don't want that obviously in her wound. So I'm gonna remove the obviously dead tissue right here, try to get down to that nice pink tissue. And I'm gonna leave this wound open. This one definitely needs to stay open and drain. But I'm gonna pinch it in a little bit so it's not as big. And we'll leave it open for a few days while she heals up and drains. Either let it close on its own or maybe in a week come and close it all the way if it looks clean enough to do so. But right now I'm just picking out junk out of it. So close this one except I left a little opening right there for fluid to drain, so it will heal up on its own now. That'll drain for another day or two until it's not draining anymore, and then that skin will totally heal. This one, I closed this edge in and this edge in, so we have just a little hole there, still super dirty. That one, we're gonna have to keep flushing and probably try to close in a few more days, uh, cause it's really nasty. Back here on the back, we had a big one here. I closed it all the way up to here, left this corner open for it to continue to drain. So I think we're actually good on this side now. We're gonna um, roll her over and yeah, we're gonna roll her over and do everything else from the other side. So suture up this little one. The, these are the probably the two worst ones. And so the thing about dog bite wounds is you gotta think the dog has a big pointy tooth and it goes in like this and it obviously tears this outside skin but it usually does more damage to the tissue down deep. And so I bet you these muscles are really torn up 
um, because the dog bite usually, uh, so the dog tooth usually goes in and then it moves around. So like this one could have torn up four inches of tissue down underneath there, but it only made a hole this big because the skin moves with it, whereas the muscle stays and gets ripped up. You can see all this bruising here. I moved her leg around, nothing feels broken. It all feels really good. So all this bruising is from these teeth that were down deep digging around in the muscle. So I'm gonna put a syringe in here, flush these as well as I can, and then just, I'm gonna leave them pretty open. I'm gonna close this one halfway. I'm probably gonna leave that one wide open because these are going to have to drain a ton. So I sutured up half of it. So this is still very open here, continue to drain. I put one stitch in that just to make it a little smaller, but it's still very open as well. Another one up here is sutured up. That's all that we could find on her, so I think I think we're good. I'm gonna start on some serious antibiotics because I'm sure she has some serious infections on some of these wounds still. And we'll wake her up and hopefully she'll be healing up pretty quick. And I would say we'd probably revisit these wounds in five to seven days, depending on what they look like, um, and go ahead and close them up all the way or maybe just kind of zip them up a little more, still leaving a little bit of drain. We'll see. This is gonna be the biggest thing I'm worried about. Sometimes it will kill off the blood supply to the skin, and this could all slough off, which would be really bad for her. I don't think that's gonna happen. It looks like the skin is still all healthy to me, but you really can't tell until a couple days out. So we shall see. I put a syringe in there. I flushed tons of saline in there to try to knock all the bacteria out that I could. Left some drain holes. We've done everything we can do. Hopefully that skin makes it. We'll know in a couple days, but I think it's gonna be fine. Resting up now. I will give you guys an update in another day or two, but all's looking good for now. It is one day later, and look at this girl. Look, this is the first time I've seen her walk. She was so depressed and down, and I'm sure the pain meds probably help. Good girl, good girl. So this is the bad leg. You can see we have some drainage. Yep, that's what we want. And now that she just stood up, she, I just now got her out of her cage. But you can see it's draining. That's good, we want it to drain. That's why we left all those holes there. This is the bad leg and she is putting weight on it, which is good. Look, it's so, it's so swollen. That whole leg is so big and swollen. I bet that hurts, girlfriend. We have her on some really good antibiotics and some good anti-inflammatories. You're a good girl. She's super sweet. You are super sweet. So my hope is she's gonna continue to improve and that skin won't slough anywhere. Hopefully we don't slough any skin. Sloughing skin means the skin dies and then it falls off. And then she's left with a giant hole where you can see her muscles. We don't want that. No, we do not. You are super sweet. Also, I got some more information on this girl. I thought they had just found her wandering the streets like this. What actually happened is she was an owner surrender, meaning her owners actively gave her up. But at the time they did this, she was, well, she wasn't healthy because she's way too skinny, but she wasn't wounded. She was a perfectly normal dog besides being too skinny. Good girl. So they gave her up. You know, I don't know what their situation was. Maybe they couldn't have a dog. Maybe they had another dog that wouldn't work with this dog. I don't know. But they turned her into a shelter. The shelter was crowded, and so the shelter put her in with another dog. The other dog attacked her later that day. And so she got beat up by her cellmate, and then they separated them, of course. And then it took two days before she came to our clinic. So these wounds were two days old when I saw them. They were a dog bite wound, and it was kind of the shelter's fault. Not really, they can't predict that, and they were crowded. They were doing the best they could, but obviously they picked the wrong two dogs put together, and she got the short end of the stick and got beat up by somebody. You're a good girl. I can't believe anyone would beat you up. I know, I can't believe that. I'm super pumped that she's standing, walking around, wagging her tail like that. Her tail is like broken at the end, but it was that's an old injury, so nothing to do about that. It's already healed and fused the way it is and non-painful, so nothing to do about that. So we're just gonna keep her on pain meds and antibiotics and give her a little TLC and a little time. I think that's all she needs. And we'll probably, we'll probably revisit those wounds in about a week. We'll keep you updated. It has been two days since surgery. And two days ago, Val was still not putting a lot of weight on that back leg. She was just kind of toe touching it to the ground, not using it very well. And it was, as you saw, super swollen. She's way better now. Still swollen, 
Go check this girl out. Look, she's putting a lot of good weight on that back right leg. Hey, girl. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right, let's see. If she will walk away from me, you can see that the back right is high. Hi, girlfriend. Is still really swollen. Look at this. Oh, no, no, we need to see your leg. See, that's the thing. We need to see your leg. I know, you are such a good doggy. So, let's see what we got. Way less drainage, but you can see, so this is morning. You can see she has some stuff on her hair down here. Just drained. That wound is still dripping, which, not surprised. It was nasty and deep. And so, every morning, we get her, we clean her up. We have yet to do that this morning. Look, all right, I want to see your back leg. See how you can see that back right leg is more swollen than the back left? I want you guys to be able to see it. You're not helping me at all. Walk that way. Oh. <laughs> can we just say that her leg is looking way better? The drainage is slowing down, still draining, but slowing down, and the leg is still swollen, but it's about half the size it was a couple days ago, which I love. Let me see this wound on your front here. Oh, that's looking good too. Still nasty. We may still need to come and do something to that wound up on the front leg. We'll see. Give it another couple days. She's on some great antibiotics. I know. You have no manners though. No manners at all. She's a good girl. So all is well with Val. Super pumped to see how good she's doing and we will keep you updated. There we go. Now you can see those legs. Hey girl. Hey girl. Alright. You're a good girl. See you soon. It's been about a week since we first got Val and we have her under anesthesia again today. We've been constantly flushing uh, the wounds and everything. This one though, you can see her leg is really swollen. It's been just kind of progressively getting more and more swollen. And so this is still open and draining. But I am going to culture her and see if, we have her on some really strong antibiotics, but I'm just gonna stick this in here, get a nice swab of the bacteria that is in this thing, and then send it off to a lab so they can tell us exactly what we're dealing with. Um, because I'm just kinda worried that our antibiotics are not enough for whatever's going on, because this swelling is, I don't like that. I don't like how swollen this leg is. She's still touching it, but just not putting full weight on it yet. So that is something I am still worried about. Uh, we're gonna flip her over and look at her other wounds. Everything else, the wounds are all looking pretty good. It's just, just this big swollen leg, which I don't like. And it's like something up here is blocking the lymph vessels from coming back up here and flushing all this extra fluid. When you squeeze this, it just it squeezes all the fluid out. It's, it's not like it's full of pus or anything. It's just her tissues are all diffusely swollen all through this leg because it's not draining back up here. Here's the other wound that we were really worried about and you can see where I sutured up there and there and it's kind of scabbed around. I pulled these scabs, there were scabs all around the edges. I pulled them off today because I am going to shrink this again by about half the size. I'm going to still leave it open because I want to make sure it drains but this area is, there's just not a lot of extra skin around an arm like this so I want this to close up as quickly as we can. So it's really not healing perfectly back here. You can tell it's not wanting to heal but I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it in across this way. I'm gonna cut fresh edges on this half of the wound and pinch it in because this side looks like it's healing really well. And the faster you can get something like this closed, the better because I don't wanna risk any, if you lose too much skin here, sometimes you have to amputate a leg because it is just so hard. There's just not much extra. So trim this back, suture it closed, we'll be good to go. So this one, like I said, is about half the size. Little bitty hole now. Still enough to drain, but I freshened up all those edges, cleaned that up, and then sutured it closed. This is looking great. I went ahead and redid this one up here and totally sutured it closed. And then I redid this one here and it is totally closed as well now too. So we're gonna wake her up now. I am hoping over the next few days to a week, this giant swollen leg gets smaller. A lot of you know, you, you might think like we could just lance something and drain pus out. This isn't pus. This is just swollen tissue. And you can tell kind of when I squeeze it, she's got this like pitting. It's called pitting edema. Um, just swollen tissue here because something is blocking the flow of lymph fluid back up her leg. Probably the infection, probably the wound, something is wrong there. You just have to kind of wait and hopefully we can get her to heal up and it'll start working again. We're just going to keep working with her though and ideally this will look better in a week, I'm hoping. It has been 
I think it's been a week since I gave you my last update. It's all muddy out here. I'm really trying to not get jumped on by Val. Uh, so I want you to notice how much weight she's putting on her back legs. She is like feeling great. Her leg is a normal size now. It's way less fat and huge than it was before. You good girl. Everything is healing up very well on old Val and she really wants to play and wrestle because she's feeling so much better than she has. But all's well. We're gonna give her a little more time healing up because she still has a draining wound on that back leg, but it's getting a lot better. We did get the report back, I cultured it, and it is a resistant bacteria. It's a staph resistant to a lot of meds, but she's healing up, her body's taking care of it, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. And as you can see, this leg is the same size as this leg. Her swelling is so much better. So I think we got this girl on the right track to being perfect pretty soon. It's been about two weeks since we did surgery on her last time. And this is the inside of that leg. You can see it's all getting pretty much healed up. I, I don't think it's really draining much at all. Little wound up here. Let me stand her up, I'll show you the other ones. Here's that one on her front leg. It is still open, but getting much smaller. This one we had to kind of wait for it to just heal by second intention on its own. And then I'll show you her from the back end. You can see her legs are the same size, which is very good. So we almost have her all the way healed up. You can see we still have a little bit of like discharge on this hair, so it's still draining a little bit, but healing up well. All's good with Val. Probably we'll give her another few days of healing and then we'll spay her. <laughs> it has been a little over a month since we first got this little lap dog. And she's doing good. All heal up, completely fine. Her leg that was so swollen is totally normal sized again. You can see she's got a couple big scars. One right there. This was obviously the one that was taking so long to heal up. I know, I know. But she's totally healed now. No more scabs. There's a big one on the inside of her leg. Completely healed as well. Good girl, good girl. So we are going to spay Val and then she will go home and be good as new. No problems anymore. Super pumped that she healed up so fast. She had that bad bacteria, but luckily her body was able to clear it all out with the help of some medications. <laughs> and she is good to go. All of Val's treatment was funded by viewers like you who donate to Abandoned Pet Project. There's a link in the description if you would like to help support Abandoned Pet Project because they support us so that we can support animals like Val. We also have uh, some pretty awesome Christmas sweatshirts coming out if you're interested and a portion of those uh, proceeds go to help out these pets as well. Link in the description to that. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We love you and we'll see you next time.